welcome everybody to the channel. Um, don't skip ahead. Yes, we are on an awesome, awesome adventure ride. It's going to be absolutely epic. But this ride is a bit different for Josh and I. So, as you can see, Josh is next to me. Say hi, Josh. Hello, everybody. Awesome. <laughs> we are trailering our bikes to Jindabyne. So, Josh lives up in Brisbane. He's driven down to Sydney. Um, we've loaded up both bikes, as you can probably see behind us. And we're towing it to Jindabyne where we'll start our ride and finish um, in Jindabyne, even though we're going to be five days pretty remote. Um, I've ridden this stretch of road so many times, I'm just sick of having to waste kilometres on a bit of road that I've got no interest being on, hence us driving together. Awesome stuff, so we're going to go to Jindabyne now, meet up with Josh from Osmoto and his friend um, Harrison, probably film them when they get there. And then it is five days of just a pretty Hi. big amount of hype, eh, for this trip. Yeah, I know. It's going to be epic. It's going to be good. We're the ones that get to do it. Yes, um, but we'll do our best to film it all and um, enjoy. So we've just arrived in Jindabyne. This is where we're going to stay for the night. Um, we're about to unload the bikes. We're just waiting on Josh and Harrison to come from this direction. But before we unload, I need to give a massive shout out to Mono from Motorcycle Tire Warehouse up in Queensland. He donated Josh and I a set of Motos front and rear for another reason, to test them out, see if we love them, and to see if they're up to the, um, I guess, the task of the Victorian high country. As I said, I've only ever ran Dunlop 606s um, for 30,000 kilometers, so I'm very keen to see how these go, but awesome stuff. Thank you so much, Mono. Well, good morning, everybody. Day one begins. We've got Harrison on his KTM, Sally with, the, with her new uh, luggage setup, Josh Osmoto on his WR, and Josh JB on his DRZ, as he would say DRZ. But um, we're ready, we're going for it, so wish us luck, and uh, this is gonna be one epic, hardcore adventure ride. Well, in typical Australian high country fashion, it's freezing cold. I don't really have the uh, gear to handle such temperatures, but I did that on purpose to go light. And it's all good, a bit of adversity riding. And uh, the assault on the Victorian high country has started, or the Victorian high country uh, assaulting four riders is about to start. Super pump, starting on the Barry Way, and I'll start picking up the action when we get on the dirt tracks. How sensational is this to start the morning off? Look at these mountain ranges, they're just so epic and grand. Um, a great way to start the morning, a great way to warm up and test the setup. But if you've seen my channel in the past, you've probably heard of me mentioning my father. He passed away seven years ago. I used to ride of him. This was the area where he effectively would ride because he lived not too far from it. Um, so I think it's only fitting if I can just slow down. Here he is here, my dad. I brought a photo of him. He's on his Super Tenere there. But unfortunately, he got sick um, when he bought it. Never really got a chance to ride it properly. So Freddie, you're coming along with your sunny bunny for this five day trip. Um, I hope you enjoy it and keep me safe and the boys safe as well. So I um, let my tyres down at the very beginning but these gentlemen were like, nah, I ain't doing that. And now look at all of them. I got Josh, Josh and Harrison. <laughs> oh, Josh had 33. 40 PSI isn't working. <laughs> 40 PSI. I've got 15. Um, so the gents are all taking a moment to let some air out. It's very, very sketchy otherwise. Oh, the first decent hill climb. Good warm up for Billy Goat. <laughs> Go Sally. Oh yeah. Loose rock, loose rock. Whew. These um, descents, although not too steep yet, Pretty loose, just that loose, loose rock. But um, I can throw a front wheel out or whatnot. But I'm already loving so much my new luggage setup because I can get like right now my bum's right back over the bike and I'm not being bucked off, which is fantastic. Have a look at the view. Unbelievable. Probably need to also keep my eyes on the road but that is fantastic I hope the GoPro is doing that justice oh this is a steep one just gotta let it go on me that's the best way 
Nice. Good work. Harrison dropped it. He's alright. Oh, he dropped it? Yeah, he just dropped it. Yeah. So for the people watching, um, obviously Josh ahead of me and Josh behind me are also making videos, which is good because Harrison just had a little fall there, nothing major, I didn't see it, um, but the other two guys did. So between the three of us, we should be able to capture all the highs, the lows um, on someone's camera and be put into somebody's video, which for, um, I guess for a viewer is awesome to be able to capture everyone's experience because it's too hard to film everybody on one camera. Oh, this is a steep one. <laughs> Go, Josh. Oh, he's getting away from himself. What happened there? Oh. oh, what am I doing? Holy moly. That's amateurs. <laughs> I was too busy looking at Josh and then I just shot off the corner. Yeah, see, so Josh and I came on the outside, and um, oh, it doesn't leave much room for error. Oh, 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 oh! You okay? Oh, I can't. Did it? Fuck. Oh, yeah, easy. That's it, mate. First river crossing. Got a couple of uh, bigger rocks. It's not deep by any means, but they look slippery. I hate river crossing, so I'm just gonna baby it like this. That was all right. See, I've got to learn to stand like that. I just, I don't know why, I just hate it, but it's clearly better. I uh, don't know, I think I've got long legs. I can just get away with sitting and putting a leg down if I need to. Good work. He goes, Josh, you just found a big, well, pothole, will be the word. Uh-oh. What about straight there? Oh, no. Pick it up. Do you reckon you took on water? Holy moly, look at the bog hole. What? Look at this holes here. Yeah. Maybe up around there. Your rear wheel might drag in. I don't know if I got water or not. Well, you got it up pretty quickly. Your exhaust was on this side, so that wasn't under. When we get off, mate, we'll just pull your, um, your air filter out. If that's wet, not good. If it's not wet, happy days. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> I'll put you on this harder stuff. You ready? All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hang on, let me get behind you now and push. So this um, is a classic example of a nothing river, but you just got this one big hole that doesn't look fun, which you, yeah, you probably get free, but how deep is it? I don't know, I don't wanna get my boots wet yet. And then Josh went the right way by the looks of it. He just got his front wheel over there. So we'll um, see how we go for me. It is very slippery. Very slippery. I know this ride's um, gonna be pretty hard at times. We've already had a few moments um, to show you that, but you know, even if you're trying to have a dedicated hard ride, you're still gonna take the time to take the sights in, and we've just hit this spectacular bit of bush. Um, all these gum trees just looking pretty happy and alive, because uh, there's been a lot of fires out this way over the years, and it's just awesome, awesome to be able to uh, take a motorbike through such an area. Ooh. 
into the decent hill. Come on, Sally. I don't know where everyone else is. Someone's in front, two people are behind. I'm all over the shop. That's all right, we're getting up there, though. I've got a stand up, Lance, you idiot. Beautiful. On you, Sally. Whew, definitely a steep hill. It's pretty hard out here, though. Like, we've been trying to... We've been trying to ride together, but it's so dusty that you sort of fall back and because we zigzag across the tracks, it's hard to stay next to each other. And the next thing you know, like, it's kind of like a solo trip until you get to the next, you know, obstacle or um, river crossing or something. Um, it's been very hard to ride next to one another. Come on, Sally. We've got this. Go, girl. Go, girl. Whew. Here comes Josh. Oh, don't stop, don't stop. Go, go, go. Yes. Go, 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 go. There he is, truck doing it up. I don't know if WRs have truck to mode, but he's, he was doing it. So we've had a little bit of a hiccup. We've got three of the bikes, all but the KTM up the hill. Um, Josh and Josh have headed down to help Harrison, but it sounds like it wasn't the hill's fault, but unfortunately we've got this big hill to deal with. Um, I think he dropped his bike a bit earlier and something's gone wrong with his throttle and um, he can use it but it doesn't snap back um, and it's very stiff um, so I don't think his throttle is just a standard old cable operated one like our bikes um, and we don't really want to be going up and down hills like that without any throttle control because that's a disaster but once again a KTM something has happened well that's very handy I just got the thumbs up from Josh JB that um, they fixed the bike so I'm the uh, fortunate one I didn't have to walk down the hill, um, but my turn will come, no doubt. Come on, keep going. Just go, 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 go. Oh, no. You are right, bro? I'm coming. I was just saying I didn't have to walk down the hill, but here I am. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Why don't you stop as well? Oh, it's shit Absolutely. I just found a pile of bindies all through my hand. <laughs> the price of helping someone. What the fuck? Ah, whole little. Oh. I fell on that. Oh, fuck. Oh, ah. I can handle crashing, but not bindies, mate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Far out. Oh, he's up. He's good. Yeah. This section is not that steep, but the rocks, all the rocks are loose. It's just a front wheel wants to go. Um, but I'm managing it. I'm managing it. I much prefer to go up hills with rocks not like that then down that's for sure finally we've got some side-by-side -side riding happening the tracks a lot less dusty here um, but very rocky very rocky
Good stuff, eh? I like it. That's the Dedic Valley, um, Dedic Valley, and Dedic Trail all through there. Yeah, sick, eh? Like the way, yeah, we're gonna wind our way down, all the way down to the bridge, and we start our traversing of over there, um, which is all good stuff. Ah, McKillop's Bridge. I thought you were that other guy. Yeah, and I, and because he pointed, like, oh shit, where's Josh going? So I chased after you, thinking, is that a white tank? I'm like, oh, I don't know. Black bike, wasn't it? Well, it just looked like you. <laughs> and then I, I saw in the distance, he's like, okay, he's got a white tank. So I tried to ring you to go. I, I thought you'd turn back for some reason. <laughs> And then I thought, nah, surely not. So I thought I'd just come there, luckily. But it just looked like you, man. Oh. Yeah, I've seen him. I've taken the wife. Yeah, I thought he was like, hey, follow it. Like, I don't know. I love this place. Freddie, we've made it. My father down there looking. The snowy river. When I was last here two years ago, that river was pumping. There was water all through here and I was meant to cross it. No such chance. I think it was two and a half meters higher than standard at that time, but it was crazy amount of water. Um, but it's a lovely place. It's a lovely place. It's a really awesome bridge to be able to share it with some people as well. Hey, Freddie. Hey, we're here, we made it again, my father. He loved this place as well. He'd been here many times. How good is this? Just taking Harrison and Josh Osmoto over the bridge for their very first time. My third for today, but there's something about this bridge. The pile of wood going over a gorge, heaps of history, but it's just like, it's unique. It's one of a kind. I guess that's what makes it so cool to um, go over. Well, mate, Dedic Trail. I'm very um, privileged to bring you along it. Because you probably would never otherwise known about it, eh? No, probably not. Hopefully, hopefully you're like, well, oh, that wasn't that good, Lance. Yeah, um, I've done it before, I feel like yeah. I can do it too, so. Oh, yeah, it's not hard. It's just a nice track. Let's do it, man. So we're on the Dedic Trail. Josh, JB and I are flying this as a duo. Um, and the other Josh and Harrison have decided to head back to Bucken via the main roads because Harrison's had a couple of near misses. Um, he hasn't ridden in a long time and um, he's pretty fatigued. He's doing great, but this track is potentially hard if you're not getting up the last hill and we don't want to be stuck here at night time. Um, so he made the call to do that on his own accord and we're going to catch up with them again tomorrow morning. So the DRZs are pushing on. Oh, come on Sally. We've got this. Last time I was here I had a standard engine. Now I've got big bore power. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, loose as. That's all right. We've got this. Probably stay on the... Oh, uh, hit neutral. Hit neutral, save it. Easy work. Come on, Sally. Come on. Josh is normally right on my tail when I um, am in front, so. I've given it about four or five minutes. I only thought I was a few hundred meters ahead of him, but he's not here, um, which is not like him. Well, actually, it's either a GoPro issue or it's an actual issue. Whoa, still not coming. Oh, where is he? Where is he? 
I don't really want to we always talk about this none of us really want to go back down hills but sometimes you've got to make sure everything's okay I'll just turn the bike off so I can hear him shit I can't hear him oh here he is Oh, you're right or what? <laughs> you okay? Hello. You okay? Yeah, I come off. It was probably a bit of my fault. I don't really know what happened. Oh. I was too busy talking to the camera, I think, and I sat down and it um, spat me from this side that way, and then before I could get it, it took my front wheel up a rock on the right. Yeah, yeah. And it just flipped me over. Yeah. Bad or not? Oh, it wasn't bad, but I um hit just on my shin on a rock, but I checked it out. It's just a little bruise, but Okay. I'm all good. Come on, Sally. I was just telling Josh that's the hard hill done, but I failed to realise it keeps going. Come on, Sally, you've got this. Beautiful. I know I keep referencing back to two years ago when I was on this track and in this area but the reason why I am it was just such a night and day difference I mean at the same time of the year it was a week difference but last time I had torrential downpour flash flooding and I was on this track late in the afternoon freaking out but I don't know what it was like looking at the dirt now in a dry state it doesn't look like it'll be slippery when wet but I was so so struggling to get any sort of traction these trees ahead of me now I could only see as I passed and the fog was so thick and I was just absolutely drenched. Um, loved the ride still, but I'm so glad to be here now to see what the track can be like and it's super enjoyable right now. Absolutely, I really wish my dad was with me, but you know, he's not, so he loved this sort of stuff. Don't know why, I always get a bit teary. Um, when I get a moment to think about it when I'm out in these sort of areas, because we, we rode here, you know, so yeah. This is a section where the fire didn't burn, thankfully. And um, I don't know why I like it so much, but these trees are just so big, so tall. Um, I think I like it because it just shows they've probably been here for so many years, like multiple lifetimes of humans. And they're just out here growing and growing and just looking really bloody awesome. This track is so overgrown. Um, it's to the point where you can't even ride in the actual wheel marks you got to go on the center but you've got hidden rocks in there but man this has changed so much it definitely makes it more difficult and I've got to keep in the back of my mind that I've now got these new side bags the Kriegers doing absolutely great don't get me wrong but they're bigger and stick out more um, I don't want to catch a stick or a bush this is another one of those hills that oh where am I going you want to go a tad faster but it can just get away from you that's all right drag the rear wheel a bit Whew. hopefully Josh is behind me yep here he comes we're getting closer and closer to the stairwell or staircase, whatever they call it. Mount Jones staircase. Oh, I remember this river. The one I had to walk it through when it was freaking flowing like a champion. Not really sure, can't really see anything. Oh, where's a good, oh, these rocks are slippery. Oh, oh, far out. So Josh is going to walk it because it's so slippery and like he can't even get over this one little rock, that's how slippery it is. Look at that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've got the added advantage of the longer legs to get me over, but um, I think that is a safe call because these are one of those rivers that just, they just sink your bike or because you hit a little slippery rock and you're done.
far out it's slippery. Oh, I'm so over it though. Mate, adversity my friend, you'll be at the campsite soon, you'll love loving life. I'll come and help you, I really don't want to get wet boots. You've just got this one rock there you might want to kick out of the way. Good work, good work. So poor Josh back there, um, is, I think he's got a forearm cramp, so he's never had one in his life. And I said, yeah mate, well it's been a pretty tough day and um, a lot of these hills of all the bumpy rocks you hold on for dear life. So I think the reason why we vibe so well as well about like he wants to stop, but he also knows, you know what, we've got this end goal in mind and he wants to try to push on there. So it's 30 kilometers from here of this sort of riding, so probably 45 minutes to maybe an hour. And that'll make it 6 p.m. But um, we've got one big tough hill climb coming up and then 20 kilometers of an unknown track. So hopefully we can make it. Hopefully his arms don't cramp too much on him. This is the climb before the climb. I'm pretty sure any moment now we're gonna see the sign to say welcome to the Jones Staircase. Here we go, I knew it. Here we go, Mount Jones Staircase. Steep and slippery, dry weather only. Well, I've done this in very wet conditions and it may have potentially been easy because now that it's so dry, it could be very, very loose. And this is a big climb. When we get out of here at the top and um, we can decide if we're gonna make it to the campground or not. All right, here we go, guys. Mount Jones Staircase. But I'm letting Josh go in front of me because he's cramping everywhere. And if he doesn't make it up this hill, I don't really want to come back down it to save him. I would rather be behind him so if he falls. So if he falls, I can help him. Well, Josh, if you watch this back, hating on the Dedic Trail, You've completed it during some pretty big adversity. So good on you, mate. I've got all the confidence in you that you'll get up. That's it, buddy. We just climb and climb and climb. Push up to this bit if you can. That's it. Josh, you've got this, bro. Good. Good work. Come on, Josh. Ah. 
Hang on. Hang on, don't over don't overheat your bike. What I'll do is I'll get you to that next flat bit. Do you want me to get you to the next flat bit? So I think the reality is, um, you know, Josh is a fucking awesome rider, but for whatever reason, he's completely spent all of a sudden. Probably lack of food on our behalf, but he can't even start on the bike cramping ever. So the reality is, we can't camp here. So I'm just going to have to use the energy I've got in me, which I'm doing all right. And I, I don't know what his thoughts are, but I might have to just leapfrog the bikes. Um, and look, this is a hard track, don't get me wrong. In the current conditions, it's loose, it's hard, it's steep, but Josh is plenty capable. He's just, I've been there before. Once that energy's gone, not much can happen. That's positive, without help, so. He's helped me before, whether it was by towing or not. So I'm going to help him 100%. This is very, very familiar because my first time on this hill it was like this. Never ridden before. I was on an F800 GS with my dad on a little CRF 250L, and I couldn't get up. And I was so much bigger and so much stronger back in those years, and I was just absolutely stuffed. And we're out here for hours. And my dad just said to me, he goes, "Look." You know, we weren't experienced by any means, and he goes, I'm just going to sit on the bike with you. And I actually doubled him up to put more weight on the rear wheel. And believe it or not, I was able to just truck to that BMW up here and maintain traction, which I was, thought was the craziest idea. Well, Mount Jones Staircase, you are tested, Josh, big time. And I wasn't feeling, but on that last section, I couldn't get going myself, but I'm up here. Come on, buddy. Yes. Come on, don't give up. He's got it. Good work. Good work. I think I need another 15 kilos on my ass like you. That's the top. The day is getting away from us. Um, I honestly thought would make it good time. But with what we've seen in the video thus far, we haven't. Um, I just hope we can get to where we want to get to. And, uh, once we get off the Dedic Trail, we're going to Yaomi. That's a major, you know, forest road. So good speeds to be had if it's not dark. Um, and then just hopefully there's a pretty direct route or route to uh, Jackson's Crossing. So Josh and I have made the executive decision. Um, we just happened to come across this campground on the way to Jackson's Crossing but look we've got firewood there we've got a table here we've got a portaloo there no one's here so we're just going to stop here but because Josh needs so much water because he's dehydrated we just went over a river so we're just going to go back there fill up with water and yeah camp is here um, it is what it is we'll still be able to cross Jackson's Crossing in the morning but I think for that extra 30 minutes to 40 minutes of pushing on what's the point um, when we've got a beautiful campsite there and I love the bush so I'm happy to camp there <sighs> found our water supply I feel like I'm a um, an ogre under a bridge <laughs> so good trying to disturb any of the ground we're going to be boiling this anyway I think it's pretty safe though um, <sighs> Are you there? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's mine, can you reach? Oh. I'm like Quasimodo. You know who that is? Well guys, um, night one is going to end in a very unexpected place. As I mentioned, I'm sleeping here. I'm being over the bike. She um, seems to be in one piece. Josh is set up over there. We're going to have a nice yarn and a nice bit of food on this table. You want a counselling session? Yeah. Prentice Adventurer <laughs> counselling yeah, session. I need some counselling. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll sort you out, mate. Um, and we're going to have a fire by the looks of it. We can get one going. It's a bit windy, but plenty of wood, which is awesome. All right, Josh. Yes. For the camera, mate, um, 
It was a rough day in the end. <laughs> it was a very rough day. What went wrong, you reckon? Was it the track, fatigue, or just a few little drops in your confidence was shot? Probably a bit of everything. It's not a good tool. We left my kill ups. Everything before that was sweet. But then um, after that, I think I just got tired. I had that one stupid crash where you came back to me. Yep. And then um, from there, it's got worse. I got cramps in my forearm and then one in my quad. And then I just, I couldn't steer where I wanted to steer. I kept making stupid mistakes. So track was pretty hard, but fatigue definitely didn't help. That's what did you think of Mount Jones staircase? Hard or not? Yeah, well, it was hard for me. I didn't make it all. You rode, what, 50, 100 meters of it yeah. on my bike for me. I'd love to try it again when I'm not fatigue. cramped and angry and swearing my head off at everything, but it's still definitely a hard track. Wow. Yeah. Mm. yeah, well, pretty confident on that track, guys, but, um, Oh, I fortunately got up really, really comfortably, or luckily. Um, but just goes to show, you just never know what can happen. And um, but it's resulted in a pretty good campground. Yeah, it's good. Firewood here and got the fire cranking. Waterloo over there. Yeah, we've got the the bikes. How does it feel letting someone else ride your bike? I've never done that yet. <laughs> it's not what good. Is, it's not. not <laughs> I've never had a track that I haven't been able to do. So, gutted. But what, I'm gutted. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Because someone's thrown a leg over your bike because you couldn't do it yourself. Yeah, I'll forget a new bike now. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow we're um, we're going to continue on with the route and we're going to cross that crossing that we're meant to camp out. And um, it's just got to be done. Jackson's crossing has been like 10 years in the making. I never get there. <laughs> Tomorrow's a day. We'll get there. Yeah. Hopefully we can cross it. Do you think though, last one I reckon, that we've bitten off more than we can handle with our full route in five days, potentially? I reckon we'll do it. We've done it. We've took a lot of. We put a lot of tracks on. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we've already missed part of it today. They yeah. That first bit. Yeah. No, I reckon we can. We'll do we it. We can make it back up. All right. All right, guys. Well, that'll be us for um, night one, and um, we'll pick up the action tomorrow morning. Hopefully, we don't have any missed, and um, it's another lovely day because today was pretty good in the end, wasn't it? Weather-wise. <laughs> oh, weather-wise, yeah. Good. Yeah. Really good. Spot on. Mm. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night.